All right, this is Teacher Sandy's sewing blog, and it's good to be back after such a long time. For Christmas, I got this computer, and it's a smaller computer than I had before. It doesn't fit my computer case. I want a computer sleeve to go with it. I also want to carry my keyboard, and I don't want the kind of computer sleeve that I could buy. I want something that's a little more unique and personalized to me. So in this box, I've got all the supplies that I put together to make it. I bought this skin several years ago. I thought I was going to make a pair of gloves out of it, but before I tried that, I tried to make them out of something simpler. Gloves are really hard. So now I'm going to try to make it into a computer sleeve. So you can see it's a nice color. There's the back side, the front side. I really like it a lot. And it's got this hole right in the middle. That's going to be an opportunity for me because I am going to use something to cover the hole and to make a unique design and make it more beautiful. I also need to have a lining. And so I went through all of my cloth and I picked out this lining. It's silky. It would make a nice shirt. It's thin. I'm going to reinforce it with some interfacing and make a divider so that I can keep my keyboard and my computer separate. Put some pockets in it. I've thought about lots of ways to close it and I've decided I want to use Velcro. I could put a zipper in, I could put a flap in. I decided I want to use Velcro. It's going to be easy for me. The noise that Velcro makes opening and closing is not a big issue because I'm not usually in a public place when I open and close my computer sleeve. In order to sew leather, I have to have leather sewing needles. So I have sewing machine needles, and I also have, that I saved right there on the leather, some hand sewing needles. That's essential for sewing leather. If you don't have a leather sewing needle, you will have much, much trouble. They're triangular in shape instead of round, and they work much better. Of course, I need thread. I need inside zipper. I want one zippered pocket so I have an inside zipper. And I need some interfacing for the lining. I want to keep it as thin as I can so that it's nice and smooth. I've got some findings that I might use, hardware that I might use on the outside, or I might not. I haven't decided about that yet. So now I'm ready. All right, I have cut a pattern. First of all, this is what the, it looks like after I finish pressing. There's still a few things here, but it's not nearly as uh, obvious as it was before, and I think those will come out fine as I make it. I cut out a pattern in clear plastic so that I can position it and make sure that it fits over the computer. Now, this is pretty much minimal sizing. I've got about an inch, a little over an inch on each side a couple inches on the top, but when I put it over on the skin, it doesn't quite fit. Now, is this an opportunity or a problem? I think what I'm going to do is cut across the top and then layer that over the uh, holes here and get a little more space that way. Let's see how that works. Well, that didn't work, so I'm going to have to do some more problem solving. Here is the pattern put on top of it, and here's the piece I just cut off. And when I layer it over the hole, I am missing some parts. So I'm going to go have lunch and think of another solution because I do want to do this and it's going to work. Now I'm trying to piece this to make it big enough, and so I took off this end where the hole is, and I put it on the bottom end, and you can see that I have increased the length, probably not much at all, but it's going to give me something to work with. And so now I'm going to work on the other end, and these are the scraps that I have left to cover the hole with. There are not very many. Something I want you to notice is that I didn't use pins to attach this, I used tape. And as soon as I get done with the seam, I take the tape off. And that way I don't have any pinholes, but I kept it secure while I was sewing. 